good morning and Merry Christmas you guys. It is December 25th and Vlogmas day 25. It's going to be the last day that I'm sharing Vlogmas with you guys. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and commented and just been supportive throughout the whole Vlogmas. It's been really a great experience and I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, today's mini is this beautiful multi green and it is by Fish Belly Fiber Works. This is going to be the very last mini for my advent. And I have my jar full of a bunch more, so I'm hoping to keep the square going. Glenn and I have a very low key Christmas planned. It's just going to be the two of us and spending the day together. It sounds perfect. I have to get to stuffing his stocking. And I was hoping I could show you the name all together, but uh, this is his stocking from when he was little. He said one of his parents' friends or his neighbor made it for him. So that's pretty cool. It's got a little Santa on it and some candy canes. I hope you guys are able to be with family or friends and have somebody to spend the holidays with. I probably won't be recording too much today, but I will get a little bit in. My Christmas square is done. I almost had it finished before Glenn woke up this morning. I think in a little bit here we're going to open presents and I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. I know we are here. Very um, relaxed, easygoing day. We took the dogs out for a walk earlier. Um, luckily, we're not like the Portland area with snow, although I would love to have just a little bit of snow it would be wonderful. Um, but it stayed dry, so that's a bonus. Um, we are just making dinner now, and I had a quick little break. I wanted to show you. I got my Advent minis, what was left of them, added to my granny stripe blanket. So just so you guys know, this is still folded in half here. So there's there's two pieces, but it is yeah close to my wingspan, I guess, folded in half. Uh, I haven't checked it in a while, but I do believe it fits on my king size bed. So let's see, you see that tan, multi-tan stripe there and then the purple. So the purple row and up is the Christmas minis. Oh, it definitely worked better with the one behind it. Um, so yeah, lots of colors in there. I think my 56 grams that I had left over was enough to do about seven and a half rows. So yeah, no joke, this blanket is big. Again, there you see that tan stripe, everything above that. Yeah, I think it turned out really great. Uh, it was good to work on it again. Uh, it will be put away for a while though, because I'll be saving up more of the extras from minis as I continue to add squares to my blanket. For the foreseeable future, I still plan on coming in and picking a mini in the morning and starting it. I just obviously won't be recording that. <laughs> uh, Santa, or Glenn, was very good to me this year. 
I got a set of Chiago Chi Chiago interchangeables, and it's the big set, you guys. It's awesome. It has everything from a two US two to a US fifteen. That's crazy, and then a whole bunch of cords, all the knickknacks that go with it. I'm super excited to use this. And that's not all. Uh, this guy's not afraid to purchase yarn. <laughs> uh, he got me this beautiful scheme, which has a million different colors in it. And it's a uh, by Zen Yarn Garden. This is based on a painting called Laughter. So it has all those colors in it. And it is a 90 merino, 10% nylon. So that's one. And the other one he got me is this, you guys. It's my first ever hand spun. No, I didn't spin it, but it is hand spun. Apparently there's someone local to us that sells in one of the shops that does hand spun. And uh, this is her tag. I wish it said she has an Etsy or a shop or anything like that, but apparently you just contact her if you want to buy something. This is where it gets tricky because obviously I know hand spun is just kind of, you know, roughly a certain um, thickness or whatever, but here's what the back of the card says. So I weighed this. It says it's 200 yards and it was 63 grams on my scale. So what does that mean it is? Is it a DK? I don't know. I cannot do that math. So over here it also says like two and a half, three. I'm wondering if that means it's between a sport and a DK. I have no clue. But I know I want to use this for a hat. It's 100% wool. And I'm afraid of starting something and running out. So if you have any experience with this at all, I would love to know because I think it needs to be a hat. <laughs> anyway guys, um, it's been really fun vlogging for you every day. I'm gonna miss kind of the chit chat even though you're not so much chatting back to me, at least not in real time. But I'm gonna try and have a podcast episode out before the end of the year. If I don't though, I hope you have a wonderful rest of 2017 and a great start to 2018. Um, I just can't believe the year's over yet. I will talk to you all soon. Merry Christmas!